Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today is going to be a double feature as we showcase two different action figures from the world of Halo action figure line. On our left we have the Grunt Conscript with Mangler and Disruptor. Uh, this is a figure I've reviewed before but the only thing different is the paint application. So we're not going to focus too much on this guy. And then over here we have the Sentinel with Sentinel Beam. Okay, let's get started. Um, both fantastic looking figures. Uh, the world of Halo is all about army building. So, uh, you know, if you want to build up your forces of the Covenant or the Banished, uh, these are must-buys in my opinion. Uh, both of these figures are from Series 2. Let's get started. Alright, here's uh, the disruptor weapon uh, that comes with the, the grunt. Alright, both figures come with awesome display stands. Uh, these are the newer designs, and you can tell that by the, the open notch towards the top here. Uh, the older designs did not have this, so it made interlocking um, the bases together a little bit more difficult. Where with these newer design bases, uh, having that open notch up here allows you to like easily plug these in together like that. Really awesome. Um, there's different textures. The one over here is a, like a rocky, gravelly kind of texture. Whereas this one's kind of more like grass and foliage. Uh, the Grunt Conscript, this is nothing new. Um, a word of warning with these action figures. I've seen this in some of the reviews on Amazon and I, had the, I ran into an issue also. So with the conscripts or the grunts, um, one particular point of articulation you have to be careful with is the elbow joint and where it connects to the bicep. So right here, like on my figure, um, it was like stuck. So every time I twisted it, I didn't realize I was actually like ripping and tearing the plastic. So 
I've seen some of the reviews on Amazon. Um, people have mentioned it before. You know, if this joint is stuck to the bicep and it doesn't rotate, don't force it. Uh, submerge this in like hot water to the point where the plastic becomes really soft. And then you can pull this out and then reinsert it, reinsert it back in and then just kind of like start spinning it to, to loosen up the joint. But like I had on my figure, this was completely stuck on one end. And every time I rotated it, I didn't realize I was actually just tearing the peg. So yeah, just be a word of caution on the grunts. You know, this is a very fragile part. Um, but looking past that, so great action figure. Um, the details is super nice. I like the color scheme on this one that, that I have right here, the blue one. Um, it's a nice metallic blue. Uh, and against his you know, darker brown um, reptilian kind of skin. I think it looks great. You know, there's nice contrast going on. Uh, the disruptor weapon's nice. As you can see, as is the mangler. Yeah, so I've reviewed this figure previously, so just, you know, hunt back in my back catalog of videos and you should find a review on the conscripts. There's different ones. There's the Grunt Mule. There's the Grunt Conscript. Uh, there's the different Grunt that comes with the Shade Turret. You know, some of these have different body armors. Some of them just have different color schemes but share the same mold. It's a nice figure. Um, you know, the head rotates. You can look up a little, look down. Arms rotate. You go out. Elbow articulation. Wrist articulation. Um, I think one of my gripes with the figure, though, is that it's, you know, trying to find uh, the right balance point to get the stand could somewhat be a challenge just because he's so top and back heavy. But that's where those display stands come in. You know, it allows stability if you want to just, like, display your figure. And this one's elbows don't want to bend all that easily. Don't want to, I don't know if I should, there, there you go. Yeah, so the, the grunts, always fun figures. Uh, fun characters in the game, you know, they're always running around, squealing, making funny noises, and this, you know, all the banter between them. Love the detail and the sculpting on this. Has a lot of life and character to it. Now, this is something I've, I've been interested in for a while. I'm glad I found one. I'd like to get more. Um, the Sentinel is really awesome, and as you can see, it falls apart <laughs> pretty easy, very easily. All right. Uh, it's not getting any bonus points for that. Yeah, so this guy, uh, very disappointed already. Uh, very loose-fitting um, arm on, on this joint here. As you can see, it's two very, very small pegs, and then there's this. And it, it doesn't plug in all that tight. And then this just kind of fell out also. It's a very small peg. Let's get this in focus. Yeah, very small peg, and it just plugs in, but it's not that tight of a fit. Very loose, kind of wobbly almost. But I like the design of the Sentinel. I think it's really cool. Um, let's get it. If it wasn't so flimsy, I'd be more stoked on it. Okay, there we go. It's a very cool drone-like design. And then here's the sentinel beam. Um, which way is forward again? I can't remember. I want to say... It's only going to plug in one way. Am I doing this right? Or just bear with me. I'm trying to figure out how to plug this uh, sentinel beam in. I think I'm doing it wrong altogether. Oh, okay. There we go. I had it upside down. Yeah, so the sentinel beam. Uh, move this out of the way. There's the sentinel beam. And then uh, this part here, this appendage, plugs into the socket underneath. As you can see right there. I 
it's a snug fit. I'm not sure how long it'll like stay in. You know, over time it might loosen up. Don't know. Um, great looking drone like um, toy here. Oh, that's so annoying. All right, so the way I'm going to remedy this is I'm going to submerge this into hot water. Then I'm going to gently push down on these and then reset it in cold water. And since the pieces are pushed slightly closer together, it'll have more clutch power to it. So it will it should, you know, lock into this and hold its um, place a lot better. But this is really nice. It's nice sculpt, very clean design, as you can see. You know, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. It's the Sentinel. Um, I do want more of these, but like I said, I've, I don't always have good luck finding all the alien characters and uh, stuff like that. You know, if I could get a mass at least another three of these, I'd be stoked. Really cool. And I love how you can like fold the arms in uh, like that. Into focus. Um... And then once it engages, it comes out. Yeah, really fun. What's even cooler is that it comes with this um, clear dis display stand or flight stand. It's it's not a completely clear plastic. It almost has like a weird purple tint to it. And if you notice, there's two um, peg holes right there and right there. And then you can take those and then just place it on the stand. It's kind of a tight fit. Like that. And then you can take the Sentinel and then it's, there's a socket there and a peg here. Just place it in there. And then you can just recreate, you know, it's it, like it's floating. Yeah, really cool. It's a nice bonus feature. Yeah, I'm liking this guy a lot. My only issue is with this one arm here. I could easily fix that though. So, yeah. So overall, I think this is a great addition. If you're into the world of Halo, um, I think getting you know a couple of these Sentinels would be awesome. And the, the grunts, you know, they're always fun to have. You know, they're kind of like the cannon fodder of the Covenant and the Banished. Alright, so let's wrap this video up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So, until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. Alright, later.